It's a vending machine that looks to shake up the way you buy your meat. Typically, when you head to the butcher shop, you go right past the store, interact with a butcher, and then hand select the piece of meat you want. But you always have to worry about what time the shop is open and closed. Well, with this vending machine, you can access that meat anytime you want. The owner of E. Miller Meats, Eric Veldman Miller, planned on moving part of his business outside and operating 24 7, all thanks to this machine. It's something new. It's pretty cool. It offers a service. And I think just if walking into it being open minded, it's really, really easy to use. Yesterday was supposed to be the vending machine's big debut, but the county pulled the plug. Officials with the county telling us the county environmental department paused the opening pending a review, needing to make sure the machine met all requirements and standards. We welcome any feedback. Most of the stuff on Instagram, I'd see 99% of it was great. Miller says the machine is easy even for non-tech users. Walk up to the machine, have your card handy, select your meat, and be well on your way. The temperature control and the technology that we have built into this thing is like nothing else. It's, um, it's really kind of hopefully going to change the game a little bit. The boost in business during the pandemic has made Miller rethink his formula, wanting to give people 24-7 access to meats even when the shop is closed. Long-term goal is to be able to get a few more of the machines out around town, up into the uh, outlying areas to, to service our customers that like already drive down here. The idea has its skeptics. We asked Miller how he's ensuring people's health. He says they've set a seven day target date for the meats sitting inside the machine. After that seven days, the machine says, hey, this, you know, these, these pork chops have been in there for seven days, come get them. For now, the vending machine sits covered up outside the shop. What the county will decide remains to be seen, but Miller is optimistic the county will find his machine to be top grade. Reporting from Sacramento, Claudette Stefani and Fox 40 News.